and of course Halloween makes us think of costumes and if you're looking to get a great costume this week there's still time you may not have to look any further than in your own home the folks with two men and a truck moving put their boxes to some Halloween uses with these ideas for box tombs. I'm Ann McMillan with Two Men in a Truck and today we're going to be talking about box tombs. The first costume we're doing today is the pumpkin. We first started with painting it orange. Now you can use any type of paint you want. If you're working with kids obviously you may want to use washable paint. So a lot of people, they can use those googly eyes that you just place on there. What I did is I found some foam at our local store and I cut it out in three triangles for the eyes and the nose and this fun little shape for the mouth. And the nice thing about these foams is you can just peel and stick right on the box. All right, let's put it on and see how it fits. For this next costume, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but we're gonna be making your favorite dinosaur. First, again, you're gonna start by painting. Next, after you've prepped the boxes, you can make a tinier box, your head. You'll cut out the mouth. We'll be able to add some fun little teeth. First, it wouldn't be a dinosaur without some fun little dinosaur spikes. So what I've got here is this fun little foam paper that I was telling you guys about. It's great if you want to cut some triangles into it and you can kind of stick them to the side of the box. Another idea is I've cut out a whole nother white foam. Um, I did little triangles with it. And what's great with this is you can use them for little dinosaur teeth. Right. Now this next one is for you overachievers. It's a little bit harder, but well worth it. If you haven't guessed what we're doing yet, and my headband hasn't given away, well, this may help a little bit. We created a fun little horse's head, and we have some sparkly material to make a cool little horn for our unicorns. So we also bought some streamers that we're going to cut into little pieces to use as the unicorn's tail. Just fasten it from the other side. And there you go, you got yourself a fun little unicorn tail. Thank you guys for joining us today to learn how to do some fun little box team costumes. We hope that you got some really great ideas and really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, Please feel free to reach out to us on social media and let us know how your box team turned out. Boy, I love it, Natad. You, you know, we do like to create costumes here on Live at 5 at 4. We dress up every year, so we'll see about this Friday, uh, maybe what we can creatively come up with, uh, Todd. So we'll, we'll see about that. But by the way, you can follow two men in a truck on social media. And again, they would love to see your box tombs. Any designs you come up with, just post a picture there, Todd. So any creation yeah. that you make. A any creation. Yeah, snap a picture. Mm -hmm. that Russell and I come up with, you always do a wonderful job, Beth. And it's uh, fun. Russell and I try to. I don't know, last year he was Coach Pruitt. I was Coach Barnes. Again, yeah. sorry, Coach Barnes. I don't know that my costume was that great. But anyway, we have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Um, this week, though, a little interesting. We saw that rain move back in over the weekend. Hopefully it's not going to be a, a soggy Halloween week. No, I tell you what, Halloween weekend and time change weekend 